Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah HaKodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God of Jehovah, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, so uh, yeah, I just want to do this lesson, Lord willing, it be edifying unto the elect who we endure all things for, um, entitled Informational Warfare uh, and Delusions. Okay, and um, you know, I was just reading this, uh, this uh, you know, scripture, a few scriptures here in the book of Second Thessalonians, uh, chapter two, and it, it basically goes into why, um, you know, why you have you know our people that don't want to accept this word, why they're going to uh, uh, ultimately, ultimately, you know, uh, perish, you know, be destroyed at the second coming of Yahweh Shai. Okay, because as Yahweh Shai said, in righteousness doeth he judge and make war. Now. What is righteousness? Truth, truth is uh, is righteousness, you know. But what this devil has done, he has spread forth out uh, lies, falsehoods, and deceits throughout the world. Okay, and at the end of the day, there is no there is no middle ground between a lie and a truth. Okay, you either believe the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, or you're going to take hold of lies, right? And that's why Esau, Edom is referred to as the devil, okay, in the Bible, by one of his many uh, one of his many titles because what he has done is through his information, all right, through his informational warfare, he has spread forth uh, uh lies and has entrapped uh, or trapped the minds of, you know, first and foremost, you know, the majority of our people, but ultimately the whole world because when you read in the book of um Let's get it. Actually, I mean, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse uh, seven, it says, and when the thousand years are expired and that thousand years period is talking about that thousand years of, of when Esau was uh, pushed up into the Caucasus Mountains. All right. During the um, time of the uh, Middle Ages or the Dark Ages, with, which they call what they call. All right. Um, when that thousand years was expired, which that expiration time when they when they came out to the came out of the Caucasus mines where the Lord, you know, took him out of that uh, beast like cave like uh, state. They uh, they refer to that that time period as the Renaissance, which means the rebirth. OK, because they were going to go out and and, and be reborn again and, and, and gain that uh, status as uh, they had once before uh, before during the time of the Roman Empire. OK, but. When they went out, it says Satan, it says, uh, verse seven, it says, and when that thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosened out of his prison. And that prison was these devils. All right. Cause Satan just simply means an adversary. And that's who Esau Edom is to the sons of God. They're, the, they're our adversaries. He did what? He came out of that prison and then he went forth to do what? Verse eight says, and he shall go out to deceive the nations, which are in the four quarters of the earth. Okay. And that's what his primary objective is. And that's why and that's how he obtained the status of having the earth, you know, uh, the hand to like the the the, uh, the uh, earth into his hands, as it is written in the book of Job, chapter nine, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. OK, and this is why we see so much wickedness, wickedness, you know, polluting the whole earth because you have the wicked one. OK, you have the devil, Satan, the old serpent, that dragon is in the chief, uh, the high places uh, in this world right now, he, he's, he's sitting in the in the in the control seat, so to speak. All right. And, and the way he controls this earth is through his informational war. All right. Even though he does have, you know, he did. Ha he did use his sword. OK, to, to, to you know, to conquer uh, different lands and people. But he also used his deception, his his uh, his ability to to deceive. And when you work, when you think about the word deceive, it's not just lying to someone, but it's lying to someone in a way for them to believe that lie is true because nobody is going to believe a lie if they know it's a lie. OK, but the way to, you know, to actually to be a deceiver is to present information 
in a way that it uh, that it that it uh, comes off as true. All right. And that's why. Uh, let's get the scripture right here in Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse. Um, I start at verse uh, eight. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed. All right. Manifest. And how is the wicked being revealed? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And that's what we're doing, man. OK, we're we're destroying this devil with the words, because once again, we are in a right now we are in an informational uh, a warfare. OK, we are in a, a, a war of words, so to speak. But this devil or right, the deceiver is losing this war because at the end of the day, truth will always triumph uh, over lies. All right. And and this devil has put out so much lies, so much falsehoods that he thought his 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 lies were going to sustain, were going to remain. But hey, Yahweh Shai is is the way to the, the, the truth and the life. So Yahweh Shai, us speaking the words of Yahweh Shai is casting down, you know, the, the strongholds of this devil. That's why Yahweh Shai said, I've uh, I've seen uh Satan falling as lightning from heaven. Because through his informational warfare, through his deceits, he has uh, reached, you know, a, 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 a position of being, you know, in authority, being in, 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 in the heaven, you know, not in the heavens of the third heavens, but being in a high position. OK, so it says um, and the Lord and shall be destroyed with the brightness of his coming. When Yahweh Shai returns, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. OK, and that's in his energy, his working is after uh, uh, is after the power of Satan. All right. Because Satan's main objective, all right, the spiritual demon Satan is to is to sift, you know, uh, specifically the, the, the sons of God, Israel, the Israelites is to sift the Israelites and to get them to not believe and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through deceiving, through deception. All right. Satan being the pre the, the the chief prince on uh, uh, on the left hand side, okay, just like how you had that uh that um that uh, uh situation where the Lord sent uh, a a uh, an evil angel to be to be a um to be a liar, you know, on the prof on the mouths of the prophets, and ultimately it caused the king, I believe it was King uh, Ahab, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it caused him to believe the lies of the prophets and that ultimately led to his destruction. You see? And that's what Satan does. Satan, Satan uses lies in order, in order to in order to get you to, to uh, have a mental error. All right. So let's actually keep going. It says and that mental error is going to cause you to have an action and that action is going to cause you to fall. You see? But it all starts with the believing a lies. All starts with the informational uh, uh, warfare. All right. So it goes on. It says, um, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and, and signs and lying wonders. Because when you go into that word lying, it means what? Uh, it says pseudos, which means, you know, when something is pseudo, all right, uh, pseudoscience, you know, a pseudo man, something uh, that is pseudo, it, it, it means fake, all right, or artificial. It's not true. It appears to be uh, real. But it is not actually authentic, okay? It's not authenticated, but it can appear to be uh, 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 authentic. Just like we have uh, artificial flavors, something is artificial flavor. Let's say it's an artificial flavor of, of strawberry. It can appear to look and to taste and even sometimes smell like an actual strawberry, but it's an it's not actually an, an original or authentic strawberry. It just has the appearance, a taste, and uh, not not touch, but you know, artificial flavor. When something tastes really, it has a uh, the uh, uh, appearance, uh, the taste, I should say, and sometimes the smell of an actual strawberry. But it's a pseudo or AKA or artificial uh, uh, flavor. So when you go into the word, it says uh, pseudos in the in the Strong's diction, the Strong's uh, uh, lexicon. It says conscience, conscience, and intentional falsehoods. Okay, and that's what. That's what a uh, uh, that's what this devil uses in order to entrap, in order to persuade people to believe on his uh, on his report, believe on his ideology. Okay, it's he uses conscience and intentional falsehoods. 
but keep going it says and it says uh lying wonders all right in which that word wonders goes into uh, a miracle performed by one but it's an artificial miracle it's not a real or authenticated miracle which is why they use their science or right, so uh, falsely so-called okay they use their technology to do all these different things that appeal to the senses of the blind, all right, or to appeal to the senses of the masses of the people for them to believe these things, okay, all through the information, which is why this devil has, has been, you know, putting out a heavy, you know, persecution on this whole uh, 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 Crown Royale, uh, Maxine, you know, don't, he doesn't, he's, he's taking down any and all information that goes against the pseudo information that he's been given, okay? And and it's not just with that, but it's also going to lead to, you know, the uh, mark of the beast, okay? The acceptance of the mark of the beast is going to come through his pseudo, his uh, lying wonders, okay? His pseudo, uh, uh, his pseudo uh, are deceitful uh, falsehoods. So keep going. It says, with all deceit, with, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, all right, let's get a couple more words. You go into this word deceivableness. It says to cheat, to be galled, to deceive. Just like how uh, the serpent in the in, in the garden beguiled e uh, Eve. How did he? she beguile him? By giving him, how did he beguile her, I should say? By giving her false information, pseudo information, artificial information, okay? And through that information that Eve, um, you know, took, you know, and, and, and believed as to be true, she, it caused her to, to have a mental error and that mental error caused her to do an action, which led to the fall of her and, and Adam ultimately, which led to the fall of Adam because he also, you know, took the information that his woman, his Eve gave him as to be uh, correct information. All right. But it all came first and foremost from that informational warfare that the serpent, which was the devil, which is Esau, gave to uh, Eve in, in the garden. All right. So it says, um, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that believe, uh, Salaki, in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might that they might be saved. You see? So they perish because through the un, through the unrighteousness, which is the what the uh, the violation of the laws. OK, that's what unrighteousness is. If you uh, break or, or uh, violate or deviate from the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, you become unrighteous. OK, it says because they receive not the love of the truth. And that word love is, is agape, which is the brotherhood. Is a brotherly love, and that's what the prophets have brought unto through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have have uh, brought into the into the nation of Israel. Okay, is love through the words of Yahweh Shai. We're giving you well, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is using us to give you the correct information, so that that information you can use that information uh, uh, properly. Okay, and apply it, which is where you get the wisdom. And through that wisdom, you gain salvation. You see, it all goes back to information. All right. This is an informational war that we're in. It's going to turn physical. All right. And this devil is, is um, building up to that because he's seeing that he is losing the informational warfare. All right. Because really information is uh, taps into, you know, taps into the spiritual. Let me actually, and, and to prove that, let me get this. The book of St. John uh, chapter six. Verse 63, it says, Yahweh Shai, red letter, red letter, it says, and it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words, you see, words are information, okay? That's why we have utterance. That's why we have the ability to speak. Hey, and not just even humans, you know, you got animals, excuse me, that, uh, that, uh, can, that, that, that give off information to one another. Information is a very vital and necessary thing in order to survive, in order to live. So how much more of the information that we are getting from the creator through his son, Yahweh Shai, okay? That information is the words to eternal life. 
So it says, um, it is the spirit that, that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. All right. So yeah, we have to, on the right hand side, have to, uh, uh, fight this fight. All right. Of the informational warfare, because Esau is bringing out deceivableness or pseudo information, artificial information that is that people are, you know, believing, okay, that people are, are taking to be the actual truth of, 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 of the matter, which is not. So it says, um, because they receive not the truth, because Salaki, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Now, going to this word truth also, which is aletheia, which is, it says, what is true in any matter under consideration? All right, I'm going to jump. It says, um, what is true in things appertaining to the most high and the duties of man, moral, and it says religious, you know, but basically, uh, you know, faithful uh, truth. All right. And that's the things that we are presenting unto you. While this devil is telling you that what what uh, we're, he's out now at the point where he's not even giving or he's not even uh, 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 this because they, they say that America is a Bible believing nation, but they want you to believe in science. They want you to believe in, in, in him and in Esau. They want you to believe in their and their ability to, to provide life, to provide protection, to provide, you know, uh, immunity. OK. They don't, they're not telling you to have faith anymore. They're telling you to have, uh, not, they're not telling you to have faith in a higher power. They're telling you have faith in them and their, in, in their science. Cause what science, the word science just means truth. So they're telling you to have faith in their truth, not to have faith in the truth of your, your power, the creator, the, the, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you see? Uh, and it says as, uh, the truth as taught in the in the Christian religion, which is uh, once again they're using these terminologies, but you know understanding what it really means is the 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 belief in Yahweh Shai, the Hamashiach, being a follower of Yahweh Shai, respecting the Most High and the execution of His purposes through the Messiah, and respecting the duties of man, opposing alike to the superstitions of the Gentiles, these heathens, and the inventions of the Jews, okay, which are these false apostles or false teachers, these false prophets, false pre uh, preachers, and the corrupt opinions and, pre and precepts of false teachers, even among the, even among the, uh, the, the that says the Christians, but even am among the, 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 the ones who claim to be in the truth, okay? So that's what real truth is, man. It's the truth as, as, as pertaining to what the most high, what is, uh, what the most high, uh, uh, says in the duties of, of man. So if you can't accept that, that means you cannot accept the truth. All right. Point blank period. So reading on, it says, and for this cause, and because you cannot accept the truth, according to the scriptures, according to what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has said. So for this cause, the most high shall send them a strong delusion that they might, that they should believe a lie, all right? And that is what is happening. That strong delusion has been sent by way of who? The devil, the deceiver, okay? The adversary, the wicked, because you did not accept the truth, which ultimately is Yahweh Shai, all right? Because everything we speak, we speak uh, out of the word. And as it is written in the book of um, First uh, uh, John 1, the word uh, uh, became flesh, okay, which is Yahweh Shai. So because you not you did not receive Yahweh Shai, the Lord sent what? He sent uh, them a strong delusion, okay? And when you go into this word delusion, it says mental strain, error, wrong opinion relative to morals and religion, error which shows itself in action, a wrong mode of acting, error which leads to into uh, Salakia, that which leads into error. Okay, so the fact that you are now because you did not receive the truth, you are now believing a lie, and that lie is a mental error. You're believing something that is deceitful, all right, or, or falsehood, 
And believing that is going to cause you to have a wrong action. And when you have that wrong action, that's where the unrighteousness comes in. And that's where you get judged. You see? And that's what this devil is doing. When you see how he's moving, how he's operating, all he's doing is deceiving people, okay, into believing something artificial, something fake, something uh, uh, not, you know, truthful to cause them to have a mental error or a mental lapse. And through that mental act and through that error, it shows itself in the, in the person's actions and their actions leads them to their condemnation. That's what that's why I, that's why it is written. I get this here in Second Corinthians uh, chapter 10, verse um, four, uh, three. It says. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to pulling down of strongholds. OK. And, and what is that? That's information because we're not actually out here with a uh, sword, you know, or with, you know, weapons, uh, physical weapons and are combating this devil. But we know we are at war right now. OK, that's why this, that's why Paul said what? Uh, uh, to be a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. All right. You have to be a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. And, and the war that we're fighting is an informational warfare. And the ones who lose, the ones who, who are, you know, are, are taken captive through the misinformation that this devil is bringing out, they now are under the delusion, all right, of the falsehoods that this devil has given them, which is going to cause them to, uh, commit you know iniquity cause them to to become unrighteous all right to violate the law statute commandments of yahweh bashim yahweh shai because if you believe the truth if you have faith in the words of the lord then you would do all you can to do what to not violate the law statutes and commandments and that's why the scripture says faith without faith in works you should be saved by your faith and by your works okay but if you have already been deceived by the deceiver through his informational war, then you won't be able to, to do the actual works because in order to do the works, you have to have faith. That's why James said, uh, uh, show me your faith without works and I'll show you my faith by my works. Okay, so let's uh, keep going. Um, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of the strongholds, those those lying wonders, those that artificial uh, information it says casting down imaginations. All right. Imaginations in every high thing that exalted itself, it's like in every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. That's right. Because the knowledge is information gives you what? It gives you knowledge. All right. But anything that exalted itself against the knowledge, which is Esau's pseudo uh, uh, wonders or pseudo, you know, uh, Esau's uh, deception, deceivings, falsehoods, it exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. Once again, you can't be, you can't be uh, uh, in the truth and also believing a lie as Yahweh Shai said you can't sit at the lord's table and and the devil's table devil's table you're either going to be at one you're either going to be at one table or you're going to be at the other you're either going to be with the truth all right or you're going to be with the with the lie that may appear to be truthful okay which is really you just being uh uh, uh in a delusional state so let's get this uh next scripture this is the book of um Uh, where is that at? So Ephesians chapter 6 verse um, 10 it says finally my brethren be strong uh, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of the most high that ye might be that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil and that word wiles which I always go into is methodia it's, it, which where you get the word method OK, it says uh, cunning arts, deceit, craft, trickery. That's what information is. You know, false information is when you believe something that is uh, when you believe information that is false, 
The reason why you believe it is because it was presented to you in a crafty or in a cunning way. You're not going to believe something uh, false if it wasn't given to you in a way to uh, trick you. OK, and, and which is why this devil is the devil, because all of his information, all of his all of his knowledge that he gives is all falsehoods. Which is why the scripture says, um, uh, uh, "Trust, uh, never trust thine enemy." Okay, you can't trust somebody that that is that is known to be a deceiver. It is known to use trickery. That is known to use uh, 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 cunning arts. It looks, it looks, and, and sounds appealing, okay, to the flesh. But that's why you got to be spiritually minded, man. That's why Yahweh Shai said, "What the flesh profiteth nothing." You got to be spiritually minded to see the deception of this devil. All right. Um, it says uh, to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So we're not physically fighting against Esau. We're not physically, you know, once again, it's going to get to that point. But the, the gospel, which is the good news, is not something that needs to be done in a physical manner. It's all through informational warfare okay and once again informational warfare is actually spiritual warfare because when you speak the words as Yahweh as as uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai told Ezekiel to prophesy unto the wind which means to profess to say to say before when you speak the words the ones who are meant to get it is going to tap into their spirit all right and they're going to hear it and just like and on the left hand side, when Esau speaks the words of his falsehoods, of his pseudo knowledge, the ones who are meant to be deceived is going to tap into their spirit and they're going to be deceived. They're going to believe that 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 lie and be uh, uh, and have that strong delusion put on them. And through that strong delusion, that mental error, there's going to cause them to act wrongfully. And through that wrongful act, they get judged. OK. So it says we wrestle not against uh, flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. OK, spiritual wickedness in high places. This devil uses his spiritual wickedness through his through his information. All right. That's why you have something called the media. Right. Which when you go into the word media, it goes into the word median. A medium, right? Which is something that a a, a a a a witch does, man. You know, when somebody is is a medium, there that 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 is a witchcraft right there, all right. Which is another form of a lying wonder, witchcraft, all right. So that's why it says, um, where okay, verse thirteen, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, which ultimately that's the that's the uh, the knowledge, the wisdom and understanding. And how do you get that knowledge and wisdom and understanding? Well, let's get that. Uh, Romans chapter 10, verse um, 15. It says, And how shall they preach except they be sent? It is, as it is written, how beautiful are, are the feet of them that preach the gospel. Okay? The good news, the glad tidings. That's how you get the, uh, the uh, knowledge and wisdom and understanding through the ones who are preaching the gospel. And bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our reports? Okay. Once again, the uh, report meaning what? Our teachings, our instructions, information. Actually, I had that pulled up. When you go into the definition of information, it says um, in the in the uh, Edamon online the word inform it says to to train or in, or instruct in some specific subject to instruct or to teach okay it says to uh to shape or uh to shape or or in salakia to form or shape okay so through the words we're forming and shaping all right uh uh the believers into the knowledge and wisdom and understanding that bringeth forth uh, uh, salvation, that bringeth forth righteousness. That's why Paul said what? In the book of Romans chapter 12, it says, and be not conformed 
to this world. Why? Because this world is given into the hand of the wicked. This world, as it is written in, in uh, the book of first John, uh, the fifth chapter, the, I believe it's the 19th verse, the whole world lieth in wickedness through what? Through the deception, through the lying wonders, through the pseudo, through the pseudo uh, 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 knowledge. All right. So you don't want to be conformed to this world because this world is based off of nothing but lies. OK, it says uh, one to word conform. It says um, one's mind or character to pattern fashion, uh, uh, fashion oneself according to. So don't don't fashion or pattern yourself according to this world, because we know that this world is being ran and operated by the deceiver, by the devil. But it says what? But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And how does your mind get renewed through the information? OK, through the correct, truthful information, which is what this gospel, it says of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. And how can you prove that you have in order to prove that you have to have the knowledge of that, the information of that. You have to be instructed in that way. OK, which is why teaching his word is so imperative in learning the gospel is so important. It is the only way that you can obtain salvation. You can't obtain salvation if you don't have the knowledge or the information that bringeth forth salvation. All right. So let's go back. Um, what did I want? All right. So let's get this in the book of uh, Jeremiah. So like, yeah, not Jeremiah, Isaiah chapter 66, verse four. It says, I will also... I will also choose their delusions. Now, when you go into this word delusions in, in uh, Hebrew, it means basically uh, to make to make a fool of someone, because put it like this. If you get false information and you go out and you believe this false information and then you act based on this false information, what is going to happen? You want to look foolish. You know, you're going to look foolish if you have taken some false information and acted upon it. Like, for instance, if somebody tells you. Oh, you know, uh, invest all your money into this piece of lint and this piece of lint is going to is going to, uh, you know, make make you millions and millions of dollars. So you take your whole life savings, you know, everything you own, you to mortgage your house and all this off of this piece of lint because you believed this information that this piece of lint was going, you know, to it was going to quadruple your money. <laughs> what is going to happen? You're going to look foolish when that piece of lint doesn't do anything besides just get, you know, stay there or get thrown into the into the trash can. You see? So so ultimately a delusion, believing in a lie and you or you have been deluded to the point where you are now believing that this lie is true is going to ultimately end up making you look foolish. That's why this word, once again, the Hebrew word is um, uh, th uh, th I wall, th I wall. All right, which means to uh, once again to make someone look foolish. When you go into the actual um, Salaki, when you go into the um, the uh, what is it called? My bad, I didn't mean to do that. When you go into the origin of the word delusions, the, the word delusion is th uh, thaiwal, which means uh, wantonness or vexation. But when you go into the origin, it's i it's i lal, which says. Uh, to act severely, to deal severely, to make a fool of someone. Okay, so the Lord is ultimately going to make a fool of all those that believe the lie. All right, it says, I will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. That's the information that the Lord gave. And when I spake, they did not hear. They didn't hear the information, they didn't hear the truth. I'm talking about the true information because you got true information and you got false information. It says, and when I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Why? Because as it was written in Second Thessalonians, through the deceivableness and unrighteousness, okay, they uh, and them that perish because they were deceived into doing the things that were unlawful because they believed the words of the deceiver instead of believing the, the words of the deliverer. OK, <laughs> you got the, the words of the deceiver and the words of the deliverer. Which one are you going to choose? Well, if you're carnal and you're carnally minded and you uh, uh, love this world, which this world has been given into the hand of the deceiver, you're going to choose the things that the deceiver says. 
ultimately why people are going to end up taking that chip. But if you are spiritually minded, and if you're not of this world, and if you love not your life until the death, okay, and if you know that here you have no continuing con uh, city, but you seek one to come, then you're going to choose the words of the deliverer. And when that destruction comes and when the evil days come, you being prudent, you're going to be uh, uh, delivered, okay, from the wrath of the deliverer. It's, it's really just that simple, man. What information do you choose? What information do you believe? All right, this is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Uh, let's lock it. it says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Okay, lack of knowledge. It says, Knowledge, skill, discernment, understanding, wisdom. Okay. So if you're not, if you have a lack of, 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 of understanding, you know, uh, wisdom, you're going to be destroyed. All right. So my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shall be no priest unto me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of the most high. You see on uh, that unrighteousness, I, uh, I will also forget thy children. So because you rejected the truth. The true information, the Lord is going to reject you because you decided to believe the, de the deceiver and not believe the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. <laughs> That's going to end up being to your de detriment. That's going to end up being to your, your, your downfall. Okay? For instance, when the Lord uh, um, when the Lord sent Satan to uh, test Job. Job already knew he excused the scripture says that he was a righteous man, one that excuseth uh, evil, he was just. So the Lord, so Job knew the information of the Lord. He knew the 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 faithfulness in, in the in the correct way that you're supposed to live. But what did what did Satan say? Satan said, Well, if you take all away all the hedge of, of Job and you allow me to, you know, afflict Job, let's see if he still will believe in the information. That that you have that you uh, that that you know that you have given him. Let's see if you still have faith in you and in ultimately in your word. If he's going through these trials and tribulations, okay. And but it says what through all the hell that Job catch, he never cursed God. He never uh, uh, you know he always maintained his belief in the information, the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's the fight right there, okay? Because this devil. All right. And even even on the spiritual side, Satan comes at you and, and, and gives you conflict and gives you afflictions to test your belief in the Lord. But you have to maintain that knowledge and wisdom and understanding that information that you have, that no matter what the Lord is going to make is going to deliver you is going to, uh, uh, you know, be your refuge. All right. That's 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 what the fight is about, man. That's what the spiritual fight is about. Maintaining your faith no matter what is happening. And through and how do you how do you uh how do you increase your faith is through what? Your your wisdom, knowledge, your understanding. Okay? Through your information that you have uh that you have received. So let's um get a couple more and I close it out. It's the book of 2 Peter. It's like 2 Peter, 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter uh, five, verse eight, it says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Now, how do the, how would a devil devour somebody? Once again, knowing that the word devil means a uh, deceiver, right? How can, a, how can a deceiver devour, devour you? Is he really, is he going to sit there and actually eat you? Okay. He's not going to, you know, eat you. He's not going to swallow you up. But he devours you by this, by his what? By his deception. So that's why uh, Peter is saying be sober, meaning being circumspect, being temperate, okay? And be uh, vigilant, meaning being aware, okay? Watching. Because your adversary, the devil, is, is he's going out trying to deceive you. He's putting out falsehoods left and right, okay? That's all this devil does. Misinformation disinformation left and right. And, and the thing is, he calls what we say misinformation. He calls what we say a deception. But if you have the, the understanding, if you have the, 
the uh, if you have eyes to see and ears to hear that spiritual faculty of understanding what is true, then you're not going to be deceived by the deceiver. You're going to be able to discern uh, uh, what is right and what is wrong. OK, and that is through the Holy Spirit. That's why you need the Holy Spirit in order to uh, endure until the end. OK, so let's get another one. The book of. Um, uh, Second Peter. Uh, now, first Peter chapter two, verse uh, six, it says, wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone, elect precious and and he that believeth on him shall not be ashamed. It's like it should not be confounded, which the word confounded means ashamed. OK, because a fool. Is going to be ashamed. All right. Somebody who has false information and acted upon that false information they're going to be they're going to be ashamed that they did so but the ones who have the correct information the ones who believe on the truth which is your Shai, you're not going to be ashamed verse 8 a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient whereunto also they were appointed all right so you got people who are appointed to be deceived all right, because they heard the word, but they received not the love of the truth. So they were appointed now unto believing the lie. They were appointed unto believing the falsehood, believing the deceiver. And now they were ashamed, just like how uh, um, Eve, once they were beguiled, once she was beguiled by by uh, by the serpent. All right. Esau. And then she gave her husband, Adam, that same information, that false information. What happened? They took that false information and they was what? They tried to hide themselves because that they knew that they were naked. They were ashamed because they received falsehoods. They be believed and they lied. So they, be, they became ashamed, a.k.a. they became naked. You see? And that's what's going to happen to the, the masses of these people. Because they believed in the lie, because they believed in the falsehoods, they're going to be without their garments. They're going to be, uh, be naked. And that nakedness is going to bring them that shame. Which is ultimately that 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 destruction. That's why the scripture says that some shall awaken to everlasting life, and some shall awaken to everlasting shame and contempt, because they believed the words of Esau the devil. They believed the words of the devil more than they believed, uh, uh, and I even say more. They believed the words of the devil instead of believing in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because you can't believe in both words. You can't believe in the truth. All right, which is the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and believe in the words of the devil, they're contradictory. They're they're on polar opposite sides. You either gonna believe in one and you're gonna hate the other, or you're gonna believe in one uh, 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 and, and hate the other. That's why Yahweh Shai said you can't serve two masters. All right. So um I think that's it. Actually, let me get this last one in the book of Luke and I'll close it out with this. The book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 34. And Simeon blessed them and said. And said unto Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against. OK, because Yahweh Shai, once again, he is the way, the truth and the life. So if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, then that means you are set to fall. You are set to believe a lie. You have been chosen to uh, uh, to, to to believe the deceiver. All right. You have been chosen to be deceived. And to receive the punishment of believing in the deception, which ultimately is that, that lake of fire, that, that second death. All right. But the ones who do believe in Yahweh Shai, the ones who, 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 had, uh, who had love of the truth, okay, they're going to receive what? Salvation. They, they will be saved. All right. So, you know, I ended there, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect understanding that we are in an informational warfare, man. All right. And we got to continue to push out this word, continue to preach this word because this devil, he's going hard on his side to deceive. So we got to go hard on the side of righteousness to uh, uh, to, you know, to uh, bring forth the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, man. So that they that believe might be saved. So with that, call all you how about you, Shai, Bashim, Rakaq, Dash. So next time, Shalom.